Yo, what is up, my Nakama? So my name is Daniel, and I'm a current first year medical student. And over the past couple of years, I've been training calisthenics or body weight training. And through this training, I have generally not spent too much money. I have mainly just been going to parks or just trading outside or in my home. But over the past couple of years, I have bought a few pieces of equipment um, that have really elevated my training and brought it to the next level. And I think that if you are gonna take calisthenics or body weight training seriously, it might be worth investing in these pieces of equipment uh, because they can really unlock different types of exercises that you can do. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the things that I've bought and what I would recommend if you're going to get into calisthenics training. So without further ado, let's get into our first item. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the first item that I got was just a simple mat. And the reason I recommend getting a mat is because um, the floors that you train on, they can be kind of slippery sometimes and that can be kind of dangerous like if you're practicing handstands or trying to do some advanced um, push-ups that require some explosiveness. So getting a mat that has like some traction on the floor and that will like stay still or stay put um, can be a good investment and it's also nice to do like stretches on a softer mat than on a hard wooden floor. And it's also easy to bring with you to like parks where there might be like some concrete or some grass just like put it on the grass, put it on the concrete, and then you can do all your exercises on there. So definitely recommend um, to get a mat. Um, even if you're not training calisthenics, if you're just doing like yoga or mobility work, um, just buy a mat. <laughs> okay, so the next piece of equipment that I got, which I think is one of the most important pieces of calisthenics equipment you can get, and my personal favorite, is called Parallax. Now basically what parallettes are is they are used in gymnastics a lot. You may have heard them as parallel bars. And basically there are two parallel bars that you can use for push-ups, you can use for handstands or um, more advanced routines like uh, planche. And I have two sets of parallettes. Um, one of them I bought from a friend that's like a DIY uh, parallette set. I think he like uh, went to Home Depot and used like PVC tubes and piping and then like super glued it together, uh, which is the larger white one that you see. And then I also got some from Amazon. Uh, I think they're called like tumble track parallettes. Um, and they're a smaller, more portable pair, which I take like to the park with me or when I go outside. And I absolutely love those. I do most of my handstand training on those smaller ones because they're closer to the ground. Um, so I feel a little bit safer. But eventually I wanna use um, the white ones because I'm trying to do a freestanding handstand push-up, and I wanna get that like super long range of motion. And because I'm higher off the ground with the white ones, I can like go really deep into the handstand push-up and then come back up. I think I have the strength and the balance, but combining the two is super hard. But yeah, anyways, you can practice really advanced movements. Um, you can do really easy movements like push-ups. Um, and push-ups are actually easier on parallettes because your wrist is in a neutral position, so it's less strain on your wrist than if it were in like a 90 degree position. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend uh, getting some parallettes. They're super cheap. You can either make them yourself or order them off of Amazon for like 20 or $30. Um, so definitely get them. They are one of my favorite pieces of equipment in my calisthenics arsenal. <laughs> okay, so the third calisthenics gear that I got is definitely not for beginners. However, I think that as your training has been progressing and you've been finding certain bodyweight exercises to become easier, like push-ups, for example, I would recommend getting a weighted vest. Now, a weighted vest can add a whole new dimension to your workouts. The thing I like to say with bodyweight training is, although I am kind of like a calisthenics fanatic and I preach bodyweight training every single day, I do see the benefits of progressive overload and of weight training and obviously it's a lot easier to progress with weight training when you can just add like five pound increments to your bench press or to your deadlift but with calisthenics it's a little bit harder to progress because um, the difference between um, more advanced movements is so large that it's hard to transition between like a simple push-up versus an archer push-up or even a planche push-up. Uh, the differences and abilities of those different exercises is really drastic for people to jump from one level to another. So an easy way to progress, I think, is just to get stronger by adding weight to your own body weight for those exercises. And I don't always use a weighted vest, but when I'm doing like regular push-ups, or if I'm trying to become stronger in a certain movement, I will put on the weight vest, which I think goes up to like 40 kilograms. So it can get pretty heavy. 
And I mean, the exercises are tough. I mean, if you try doing like 10 strict push-ups with 40 kilograms, like that's gonna be a killer workout. So I wouldn't recommend a weight vest for beginners. You can certainly become super strong without any additional weight. But um, if you're looking for more of a challenge and you want to, you know, really engage your muscles and uh, become super ripped, then yeah, definitely um, invest in a weight vest. And for people who are like calisthenics veterans, uh, I would definitely recommend um, adding a weight vest into your equipment list. Uh, so yeah, on to the next piece of calisthenics gear. Alright, so this next piece of equipment is something that I think should be in your gym bag no matter what style of training you do. And it is more cardio based, but I absolutely fell in love with it and I'm trying to like become a master at it and it is a jump rope. So this jump rope that I got, I really like because it has like detachable handles and this, um, the actual jump rope part, um, it actually weighs a fourth of a pound and I have another one that weighs half a pound. So you can do like weighted jump rope workouts and those are absolutely killer workouts. I love using the weighted jump rope to like add more resistance and get like a killer cardio workout. And I think it's just a great way to like move and get around. And if you have the space in your house or like at a local park, it's such a quick and easy way to get um, an awesome workout in. So yeah, I'd highly recommend um, getting a jump rope um, no matter what style of training that you do. And finally, the last piece of calisthenics gear that I own. Well, it's not really gear, it's more of like a substance and it's magnesium sulfate, <laughs> otherwise known as gym chalk. I love using gym chalk uh, when I'm outdoors and using like the pull-up bars uh, because your hands can get kind of slippery and gym chalk just adds this another level of friction and resistance um, on your hands so that it's not as slippery and you don't really lose your grip. Um, and I think it is uh, a really useful uh, tool to use. Um, it can kind of save your exercises sometimes. Like if you're doing muscle ups and kind of going back and forth a lot on the bar, even though you might have the strength, like your hands might become so slippery from sweat that like you'll lose grip on the bar. Um, so if you are training like that and you're starting to progress in your uh, calisthenic skills, um, I'd recommend getting some magnesium sulfate or gym chalk. Um, I've got that chalk like four years ago and I've only used like two bricks. Um, it comes in these sort of weird conspicuous bricks. And I remember I was going through TSA once and it's basically like a white powder. And as you might suspect, TSA thought I was like transporting cocaine or something uh, through the airport. And I just had to tell them, no, the, this is just my gym chalk. Um, it just didn't fit in my luggage. So I had to put it in my carry on. Uh, but that was a funny experience. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's kind of the last thing that I really own in terms of my calisthenics equipment. Um, I don't own too many things. I used to have a pull-up bar, but I don't really have that much space. All right, no, not space. I don't really have like a um, ledge or a doorway that can support a pull-up bar. But I would 100% recommend um, getting a pull-up bar if you have the proper ledge to place a pull-up bar on. Um, otherwise, if you can like go to a local calisthenics park or just find a place that has a pull-up bar or even a tree branch, um, anything works really as long as you can do pull-ups. Or if you don't even have access to any of that, if you can get like two chairs um, and kind of make a makeshift like um, horizontal surface and then you can do like Australian pull-ups where your heels are on the ground and you just like pull yourself up, um, that's an easier version of the pull-up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the calisthenics equipment I have. Um, pretty minimal. It fits my needs currently. Um, all the exercises and advanced movements that I currently want to learn, I can do them with my current equipment. And yeah, you know, just keep your gear minimal. Um, the whole point of calisthenics is obviously just to use your body weight uh, with minimal need of lots of weights or lots of gym equipment. But having a little bit of equipment um, can be really good, as I mentioned before, and it can really um, take your training to the next level. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something about uh, calisthenics, which is my favorite form of training. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, what my workouts are like or how to begin calisthenics, just leave them below. And as always, Dr. Bayot. <laughs>